Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Vinny G channel, a channel about everything and a channel about nothing. So, in this video, what I'm going to talk about is a real pain in the bum. I can only speak of things that have happened to me in life, that I have done in life, that I have pursued in life, and that have happened in life in my sphere and I'd like to share it with the world. We have a guy who rang in sick and said he can't come to work for three weeks. I should have picked it up because it was picked up on me of his health issues. His health issues were hemorrhoids. It was quite a few years ago, maybe the year 2000. One day I woke up and I had a pain in the backside in the ring. It was about two in the morning and I said to my wife, I said, this is really hurting me. I don't know what's wrong with me. There was two paths I could take at the time, and one was um, maybe surgery, and the other one was natural remedies. So, you could class this video as getting you on track to being well again through natural remedies. How it was spotted for me, I was walking funny. It was so much pain, I was actually like limping. Like I am now, after I've had a foot broken and all that sort of stuff, but I was actually limping from the pain. So I was on using this cream called Anasol. Um, it just made your bum greasy, basically. That's all it did. Took away the chafing of skin to skin and irritation and all that. Just lubricated the area. That's all it did very large applicator as well. I thought, yep, yeah, this is one of those problems that'll go away because there's people that don't mind going to the doctors and things like that, but there's people that are embarrassed. I mean, number one, do I bleach? Number two, do I need to shave it? It, it can be quite embarrassing. So I never said a word. I endured this uh, cream treatment, but it didn't get better. When you're in pain and it's people you don't know and people you work with, you sort of put up a front and people don't really see it. But this Asian guy, one Asian guy, he actually tapped me on the shoulder and he said to me, he goes, Vince, I know what's wrong with you. Us Asian people get it all the time. What he told me made sense. Asian people eat a lot of rice. That's their diet, that's part of it. But rice is full of starch and all that sort of um, stuff. And it can be quite harsh on the, di the digestive system. So he said to me, he goes, look, I'll tell you what to do and it'll get rid of it forever. Now at this point, I was looking at surgery and I had been told what the actual surger surgery was like. You know, they cut the hemorrhoid out, stitches and it's quite a lot of pain. I said, okay, what's your remedy? And he told me, and I sort of laughed at him, but I was in so much pain that when I got home, I tried it. <clears throat> so here it is, folks. You get a bucket, quite a large bucket, probably a, a plastic bucket, a paint bucket, something that will take your weight when you're sitting on it. You take the cloves of garlic, half you use half a piece of garlic you skin it and you crush it up you can use a garlic crusher or just a knife and chop it up into very fine small pieces okay so i did that then you put it in the bottom of the bucket so i followed his instructions crushed it chopped it in the bottom of the bucket and boil water as hot as you can as hot as you can, to me at this level in atmosphere, 100 degrees, that's boil. But I let it boil and boil and boil. Then what you do is you actually get the water and just cover the top of the garlic. And as soon as you've done that, you drop your pants, spread your bum cheeks and sit on it until the water's cold. Believe me, you'll feel it. But within two days, your hemorrhoids will be gone. I guarantee it. I've told a friend about this who had hemorrhoids, it worked. My daughter had hemorrhoids, it worked. I had hemorrhoids, it worked. It's a natural 
remedy. Then I went on to read about the the natural health remedial properties of garlic and it is absolutely amazing what garlic can do. So guys, I know this video is a bit out of my sphere of what I usually do, but I aim to share every experience I've had in life. And this is one of them. And I hope that if someone, just one person can benefit from this advice, that they, they will actually walk away better and that it helps them and they can spread the word. That sometimes surgery can be the very last, very, very extreme option and there are always other options. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe down the bottom and don't forget, if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back to you. Cheers.